Well, to find out if the pandemic will spur this year's fireworks season or go boom or bust, let's bring in Anthony Lobianco. He's the owner of Intergalactic Fireworks. Thank you for joining me. Thank you. So firstly, are there really more fireworks this time of year than usual? And if so, what can we chalk that up to? Um, yeah, this time of year, um, fireworks become more popular like around Memorial Day. Um, summertime, people go out more, barbecue, shoot off fireworks, backyard fun. So usually, you know, there's a spike in sales between Memorial Day and Labor Day, 4th of July being the most popular holiday, of course, for fireworks. Now, imports from China, where most professional and consumer fireworks are manufactured, how have they been impacted by COVID-19? Because we know already because of the trade standoff with the U.S., there were already tariffs making it a bit more expensive as well. Yeah, well, this year with the COVID virus, um, everything was delayed. Um, probably like a two-month to two-and-a-half-month delay. So a lot, of, a lot of retailers, some of them didn't even get their product or all of their product in it. In, on time and um, you know we just you know luckily we keep a good amount of storage you know for this season and you know we always have a backup so it basically the delay was because of the virus so then for people who aren't familiar talk about the supply chains and what the distribution channels look like well everything obviously uh, comes from China 99.9% um, .9 of all the fireworks come from China I direct import, you know, we bring it into the United States and, you know, we sell out of our New Jersey and Pennsylvania retail locations. Now, in some U.S. states, you can purchase fireworks and in those where you can't, people often drive to states where it's legal and bring them home or perhaps even buy them online. Just how widely do states differ on this as well as the recourse for buying them out of state? Um, they differ a lot. Um, for example, uh, one location is in Pennsylvania. The state of Pennsylvania allows all aerial fireworks. You need to follow the state's rules and regulations with distancing from other houses and stuff like that. Um, the state of New Jersey allows all ground effects. So fountains, sparklers, ground spinners. The state of New York allows nothing in the city. Um, so you can't even have a sparkler in New York City or the five boroughs like that. So, so there, there, is, there is a lot of, you know, Chain, you know, a lot of difference between the states. So then how much overall regulation is there for the industry as a whole? Um, well, fireworks are regulated really hard um, by the Chinese government and our American government. Um, you know, between Customs and Border Patrol, CPSC, AFSL, you know, it, there's a lot of regulations. I mean, what we carry, what we do is for the consumer. And you, know, you can meet safe they're not professional grade fireworks. They're consumer regulated fireworks. And I want to also talk about safety concerns. Are there communities or regions that are more at risk than others of being impacted by fires related to fireworks? Yes. I mean, every township municipality has their own sets of rules and regulations, such as time ordinances, which I think is a great idea. Um, you know, they should they shouldn't be fireworks allowed like past 10 o'clock p.m., you know, maybe on the 4th of July or New Year's Eve, it's a little different, you know, a little later. But every township has their own rules and regulations in the state of Pennsylvania. Um, and, you know, hopefully most people, you know, abide by those rules. And so what should people be aware of when purchasing fireworks so that they can use them and use them safely and responsibly? Yes, they should, they should know their location. Do they have enough space to light off certain types of fireworks? You know, should they stick with the ground level product? Um, you know, we educate here at Intergalactic Fireworks, we educate all our customers on a proper way of using fireworks and like try to ask them well, how much space do you have? Like if you're in the city, it's tough. You know, you really can't shoot any kind of aerial devices in the city. You know, you should stick to the ground level items like fountains and ground spinners because they're really, they're really colorful and pretty. You know, they're, they're really nice. All right. Well, thank you for your insights and have a safe and happy fourth. Anthony Lobianco, the owner of Intergalactic Fireworks, joining us from Langhorne.